Well, a big hello and hi ball model railroaders and rail fans, and welcome to my March 2021 update of my Missouri Pacific switching layout. Now, for those new to the model railroad category of my channel, uh, my HO scale layout is based on Missouri Pacific Railroad operations in Fort Smith, Arkansas during the 1970s era. Hey, I also wanted to take the time uh, to thank those who've already subscribed to my channel. You know, not only does this keep me motivated to keep moving forward in my layout, but I get the pleasure of watching some great videos and channels that uh, many of my subscribers have out there. So again, thank you for doing that. Now, except for a few industry spurs, all the track is installed and operational. So for the scenery installation, which includes ballast and track weathering, what I've decided to do is concentrate on one wall section at a time. So currently I'm working on the section that contains a small yard. Now in my last uh, video, I'd started to lay a, a base of uh, earth ground foam. And since then, I've started to add soil for the track access roads and drainage ditches along the track. And I've also started to add static grass over the earlier uh, earth base using a small static grass applicator made by a company called Grass Tech USA. Now the applicator was fine for my last layout. Uh, the last layout was, was pretty small. Uh, but with this applicator, you have to manually hold the power button down and it does not hold much product. So after uh, using it in a large area uh, and with the numbness in my thumb from holding the button down and the soreness in my hand, you know, this kind of told me I needed another tool for the job. Now I ended up purchasing a Notch Grassmaster applicator you see here on the right. Um, the smaller Grass Tech applicator is on the left. And initially I was not a fan of the price of the Grassmaster. Uh, this runs around $90. But I tell you, after using it the first time in a large area, and seeing the results and not having my hand and my thumb, you know, kind of sore and numb. I tell you, it is well worth uh, the money that I spent. And this thing does a really good job, folks. Now, I'll still use the Grass Tech um, for small areas, but the Notch is now my main go-to grass applicator. Now, for the grass itself, what I did is I went with two colors um, made by Silfor. And one is called Late Summer and the other is Autumn. And for early fall in Arkansas, it's, it's a really good combination. It gives me the, the real world color that I'm looking for there. So in other locations of my layout, I've left areas where the earth ground foam is still exposed. Now, these will be areas where I'll be placing you know, trees or scrub brush or a combination of both. And with tree placement, now one of the things you need to consider is will trees block or interfere with layout operations? So for example, on this section of my layout, you know, I have my yard. So I want to make sure any trees I have planted are not going to block access or get snagged when uncoupling cars. So for the trees, you know, I've always been impressed with the finished results, you know, I've seen with uh, Scenic Express Super Trees. So I've decided to give them a go on this layout. Um, so what I've done is so far I've uh, prepped a lot of my material. Um, with a quick soak of a water and white glue mixture and then once dry I applied a coat of Krylon camouflage brown paint followed by a quick overspray of a model master's color called light earth. Now on a serious side note here folks when using spray paint or any spray application I cannot stress hard enough the importance of safety okay. Invest in a respirator that is designed to protect you when using these materials. Your lungs will be happy and you'll live longer to enjoy the hobby believe me. So the last step will be adding a combination of late summer and fall colored leaves to represent late fall. So by the next video release, I should have some finished trees in the layout to show you. I'm also planning on making a future how-to video on making these trees, so stay tuned. Now another area I've been working on is a section along the back side of my yard. So I have one background building uh, called the Ward Cold Storage Company that will be switched out. And the rest of the area will contain a combination of photo backdrop building flats along with trees and bushes to kind of close up the area. So now I'm kind of experimenting on different ways to position everything to see what looks best. And I also plan on painting uh, clouds on my sky blue wall and will probably bring in a model railroad buddy who has a little bit more experience in doing that kind of work. Now the most recent project I've completed is installing the asphalt apron for the Fort Smith Biscuit Company. Now I use the same material and techniques to make the apron that I used in my how-to video on making foam roads. So be sure to check out this how-to video on my channel when you have the opportunity. Well folks, thanks again for stopping by. As always, I welcome your comments and questions, and if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to my channel. 
Now in my next update, the crew will be on duty and performing switching operations, so be sure to grab your still-toed boots and switch list because you'll be coming along. Now I'll also have more how-to videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. And until next time, highball!